We are finding out more details about a house fire in Jackson. Neighbors say the owners have owned this home for over 70 years. Investigators are now looking for the person who started it. The investigators, they did determine that the fire was intentionally set. At this time, the investigation into determining who set this fire is ongoing. We don't have any suspects at this time, but our investigators are um, right now working to determine a uh, suspect. WJTV 12 Shay O'Connor was at the scene and has more on the story. Neighbors in this area saying this fire was definitely intentional. They believe it was caused in retaliation to a murder earlier this week. Flames from this home on Maple Street in Jackson were big enough to awaken neighbors in the early hours of Wednesday morning. But after taking a glance at the home, neighbors say they already know what happened. I received a call that the house had been burned. And once I looked at it, it's so completely burned, it's like it was on purpose. This neighbor declined to be shown on camera, but is one of many along Maple, who say the man accused of killing a young woman named Brittany Green just this past Sunday lives in this home. They believe Jason Garrett's home may have been set on fire because he has not turned himself in to officials. Well, I did see his picture on the news. And um, sad, it's sad for this time of the year. This is the time of the year we're supposed to be celebrating the birth of Christ. And it's so much is happening now, so we just have to continue to pray. Praying is what many neighbors said they would do after seeing the home they say had been in Garrett's family for over seven decades. Just up the street, two cars also burned. Witnesses say Garrett's nearby business has also been vandalized. Many are pleading for the retaliation to end before anyone else gets hurt. For now, reporting in Jackson, Shay O'Connor, WJTV 12.